I guess what drives me in the morning when I get up is a sort of curiosity about, you know, exploration and experimentation and discovering new things. And if I was just to sort of like sit in my own shadow or, or you know, focus on how I play the guitar all the time, I don't think I would grow as an artist. I've always been a collaborative person. I have a twin brother and we play music together and I have a large community of friends that plays music together. And, and not only do we play music, we also collaborate on events and ways to get people together and on pro-social, philanthropic, charitable projects. So it's kind of like, I don't really see a distinction sometimes between making music and making, you know, making art or making something which is related to it. Klaus's wife, Christina, had written Stina, my wife, a, a note just to invite us to their apple flower um, festival and um, to invite the band to play. And they wrote, it was just a very, very beautiful letter that she wrote. And it's not that often that you get to go do something like that, like play in an apple orchard for families and children. And it was the day after we had headlined the Primavera Festival in Barcelona, which was probably 80,000 people or something. And then the day after we came to Denmark and got driven to a ferry and then took the ferry to this little island and um, played for a few hundred families in an apple orchard, you know, for free, for fun. And it was just, it was a really nice contrast. And just, I think that's an, that was an interesting couple days for the band. Um, and everybody had a great time. And that was sort of the start of a friendship. The spirit of Apple Flower is definitely in Haven as well. Um, and I would say the same thing about Mikkel. You know, he, Mikkel used to bring us beers with my friend Jakob, who, who helps operate McKellar. And that when we would come play, when the National would come play in Copenhagen, they would bring us whatever they were working on. And so it's just been a really fun project to, to get to take that friendship with both of them and like make something out of it. I don't think any of us want to keep playing exactly the same kind of concert every time or, um, every, or the same kind of festival uh, every time. So that's part of the inspiration for Haven is just to experiment with the medium and, and collaborate across boundaries. And, and Mikkel from McKellar and Klaus Meyer are kind of like really interesting people in terms of that. My hope is that there'll just be a lot of discovery, you know, people discovering new tastes and new sounds artists, you know, collaborating and, and meeting someone new, um, and in general, you know, bringing people together for an experience which should feel different than something you've had before. Um, so we're not trying to replicate, you know, other festivals or sort of like, you know, walk in that path. It's more, it's meant to be a, a unique kind of experiment. So um, I guess uh, also expecting the unexpected, hopefully. <laughs>